Joining us now on the line from Zambia to look at initiatives being put in place to enhance the economy's environmental sustainable development, Irene Lungu Chipili, Zambian Environmental Management Agency Authority. Thank you so much for joining us today, Irene. Uh, I, I think let's uh, set the tone Thank you very for this much. and just give us an idea of where government stands right now with regards to uh, pollution control, uh, environmental awareness, sustainable development, uh, very much at the forefront and, and very much being highlighted by the fact that it actually shut uh, the Concola copper mine earlier on in the year that of course is held partly by Glencore as a result of pollution. So uh, some saying that marked a turning point in the government's attitude towards uh, polluting industries. Um, thank you very much. Um, there have been a lot of changes that have taken place in Zambia as regards environmental management. I think first of all it's important for people to appreciate the fact that government is highly committed to um, protecting the environment and for this reason in April 2011 last year the government actually repealed the Environmental Protection and Pollution Control Act and it's since been replaced with what is referred to now as the Environmental Management Act, the EMA and uh, number 12 of 2011. With that new legislation what government has done is actually given um, a, a strengthened our mandate as Zambia Environmental Management Agency, as a regulatory agency in environmental management in Zambia, but also the issues relating to compliance to environmental regulations by all industries, including the mining sector, as you referred to, have been strengthened. We've also seen in the new legislation um, penalties for environmental offenses being increased, meaning that in terms of our capacity to enforce and monitor industries, that has been taken care of and in from last year and in the years to come the people of zambia or the international community in general will see more compliance to environmental um, management by all the industries particularly the mining sector i do agree with you that in zambia there's been a uh, concern raised regarding compliance to environmental legislation particularly by the mining industry owing to how big the sector is in this country yeah. However, that concern has now been increased and we are taking serious measures to ensure that there's improved compliance to environmental legislation by the mining sector. I mean, just looking at those scenes that we saw, breathtaking scenes, and of course it's all about uh, looking after the environment as you have uh, a lot of industries coming into Zambia right now wanting to invest in agriculture, wanting to invest in mining. And as we said, that $2 million fine being given, handed over to Glencore as a result of uh, polluting water. What has been the response of industry to this? Do they understand the, uh, the type of regulation that they're going to have to face going forward? Those concerns too have been taken care of. What we have done now as Zambia is not just uh, used previously, but the commonly used tool is what we refer to as environmental impact assessment. That too is still being utilized. What that means is that before any industry sets up development in Zambia, be it in agriculture, mining, hospitality, and so on, they are all required to undertake what we refer to as environmental impact assessment. What that means is that we want to see how best we can minimize the negative environmental impact and enhance the positive impact ahead of development. So we are, we are, we are enhancing planning other than reacting to environmental damage. Yeah. But in addition to that now, as a country, we are also using other environmental planning tools such as strategic environmental assessment, integrated environmental assessment. So in the, in the long term, both in the short and long term, we will see improved environmental management by all industries regardless of the sector. Well, that certainly is hoped, Irene. Just very quickly before I let you go, we know that COP17 took place last year. We had a lot of governments coming out uh, from uh, all over the world, including South Africa. Africa worked together as a union to, to make some form of commitment towards sustainable development. Uh, has, Zambia, has the Zambian government put on the table a commitment to reduce pollution? Have they, have they made any commitments on that end? There is commitment from, from the Zambian government, but for us as a regulatory agency, we would actually like to see that materialize more into implementation. As you know, it is one thing to have a piece of legislation or indeed international agreement on, on environmental protection. But at the end of the day, what the people of Zambia or the person out there would like to see is how well are the various pieces of legislation or environmental um, treaties being implemented. 
So we appreciate the, 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 the commitment that has been shown by the Zambian government, but we want that to be translated more into action. So we are continually working with the various um, government departments and other sectors here to ensure that we try and promote implementation of um, the various environmental actions, be it at individual level, at community level, as well as the interventions that are required at national level. And then also, as we talk about sustainable development, the key for us as a regulatory agency is that we are continually reminding government that we want to see a balance. Yep. Yes, we would like more industries and more investment coming into the country, but at the same time, our concern is to ensure that that development is not comprised, is compromising um, our use of the natural resources because we want to benefit from the natural resources, but at the same time ensure that the future generations also benefit from uh, the, the rich natural resources that yeah. Zambia has as a country. That of so course we will continue pushing and ensuring that that commitment is actually fully implemented by yeah. all, including government. Very important there, that, that commitment to natural capital. Thank you so much for joining us, Irene. Irene Lungu-Chapili from the Zambian Environmental Management Agency, or ZEMA.